Today I'm going to be showing you how to create these awesome teleportation visual effects all inside of HitFilm Express for free. What you're going to want to do is download the Spell Hits pack from Action VFX. It's a free pack. It's really good. There'll be a link in the description, and you'll also want to download some like dust and debris elements. I'll also put a link in the description for uh, Production Crate or Footage Crate. I forget which one it's called. Um, which also has a whole bunch of really cool visual effects and stock footage. So once you've got them downloaded, you'll want to import them into your media bin. So I'm going to do that now. I imported all of the spell hits, so now I'm going to import the dusty impacts. Okay, so once you've done that, you'll want to right click on your footage and press make composite shot. Now rename it to whatever and then hit OK. So it's now imported my footage. When you're recording your footage, you want to make sure that you have your like jump as you start to teleport and then you want to run to your next location or walk or take any other safe means of transport to your next location then you want to do some form of jump or any other way that you're showing that you have teleported so I'm doing mine through like a jump so I jump and then I teleport and then I move on to the next location then I do that again and then I run back over then I jump again and then I keep doing that then I return back to the camera I'm going to mute my footage So once you've imported your footage, you probably don't want to have you running across your scene getting to your next location. So what you're going to want to do is find the point where you jump. And so mine's just there. I'm going to use the slice tool to cut there. Now I'm going to scrub through and find the bit where I sort of jump into my next location. And I'm now going to delete this chunk that was in the middle. Drag the clips together so now it goes from me being there to me being over at the back. Then I'm going to do the same with this clip. Okay, so once you've done that, I'm just going to go to the end of my footage, copy the timecode, go into the settings for my composite shot and paste it in the duration. This means that the composite shot's only the same length as your footage. As you can see there is a colour change in between these shots as the grass is darker and then it moves to a lighter colour because of where it's focusing. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a curves. I'm going to drag and drop this onto the footage layer. And now I'm going to go through and try and tweak this so that then it looks correct. Spend as much time as you need to try and correct this. Then copy and paste the curve onto all of the other footage layers that require it. So once you've done this, all of your footage layers should be looking somewhat similar. If there is slight differences, it really doesn't matter for what we're going for here. Okay, so now you probably want to get started on actually making yourself teleport from one spot to the other, which isn't just a basic cut like this. So what you want to do is find the point where you're about to teleport, um, and you want to drag and drop one of the spell hits above your first teleport jump. I found that turning off snapping, which is the small magnet in the bottom corner, I turned off snapping and then I could more easily just move the footage along. I right click on it and press its blend mode to screen, which removes the black. Then I dragged it over myself. I then scaled up 
the footage as I was quite close to the camera. And now, as you can see, it kind of ripples off in a cool looking shockwave. You can add all sorts of other effects as well, if you want to. I also decided that I would change the colour of the first spell hit. So what I did to change the colour was I found Hue Shift, dragged and dropped it onto my spell hit, opened the Hue Shift property, and I used a preset and I set it to 60 degrees yellow because for some reason that comes out as blue. So yeah. It's like a white blue. Now I'm going to do the other side of the spell hit because I wanted to have both sides having the small explosion. So then I found another spell hit that was fairly similar. I found that spell hit number two worked quite well. So it's blend mode to screen once again. I accidentally placed that below the footage there. Then as I was further away from the camera this time, I found that scaling it down, dragging and dropping it over my character, and that actually looks pretty good. I might just scale it up slightly more. So now you have a quick teleportation effect. However, it still doesn't look like you've actually like destroyed not destroyed anything, but if you were to do something like this, you'd probably kick up some dirt and some dust. So that's where your bullet hits or your impacts or your dust explosions, they will come in at this point. Because at the moment it's just I disappear from there and I appear over there. So I decided that I'd have my dusty explosions coming from the second one. So I then drag and drop my footage in behind the back one, the back layer, which is this one, and then I set its blend mode to screen. Then I dragged it and I repositioned it. So now you've kind of got like a dust explosion when you teleport across. I have to tweak when it comes in. So as you can see you now have some dust that flies off after you teleport. You want to duplicate this effect for all of the other teleportations, so I'm going to do that now. Okay, so I have now gone through and added in all of the different teleportation effects on every point that I have to teleport to and from. And it looks pretty good. Something that I think is missing is some camera shake. Create a new grey layer. 
and I'm now going to add the camera shake. It's, it's just cut shake. Drag and drop shake onto the gray layer. Now in controls, I'm going to set its amount down to 15, smooth this to 2, and speed to 1. This is just giving a nice subtle camera shake. Just remember also to keep saving your work. And at the point where I first teleport, I am right next to the camera, so that would make the camera shake as well. So I set a keyframe before I do my teleportation at 15, then I move to the height of my teleportation and set it to something like 155 or something. That'll make it go absolutely crazy. Then I move on a few more frames and set it back down to 15. Then I also remember that I appear right next to the camera right at the end, so I set another keyframe just before. Then move along to the height of when I appear at the camera. And set it again to 150. Then after a few more frames, I tone it back down to 15. So now it looks a bit more all tied together because you have the camera shake that almost interacts with the environment and all of the effects look really cool. Something else that you could also do is find your spell hits and find the glow effect and just drag the glows onto this footage. Cause so I'm going to do this for all of my spell hits. <laughs> So now I've added all of my glows in, it's time to save your work again and export your clip. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, if you did then please leave a like and subscribe. Keep watching, see you in the next one, goodbye.